that you were there in case I missed you. So hey, hello Karen. Like I said, there's a new, new feature. I can even wave back at people. Now that's pretty cool. Um, there's someone else who popped in, but I didn't see who it was yet. So as they do, I'll hopefully welcome you. Um, so like I said, leave me a shout or a hey when you pop in. I love welcoming you. And hey, hello Karen. Hello, there's someone else. It hasn't shown me yet. But hey, I'm glad you can make it. Okay, I see someone. Um, oh, there it is. Hey, Nicole, lady, long time no see. Hey, you have a beautiful family. And I even waved at you. That's this new feature I just discovered. So pretty cool. I can wave this way and I can press the button and wave that way. So pretty cool. So thanks for joining in. Hello, there's some more joining in now as well. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad you could make it. Welcome. Hey, Joe. Hello, Michelle. Hi, Cindy. Wow, awesome. Thanks for popping in. But let me ask you the question for the night. Do you know the safest ways to get a tan? Do you know how to get some safe sun? And I'm sure you knew that's what I was asking, right? Well, I am. But I'd like to comment. If you do know, would you please comment in the thread and what ways you know to safely tan? And I'm closing out Skin Cancer and Melanoma Awareness and Prevention Month. And, you know, myself and a few friends of mine, we also have been sharing videos and informational posts, you know, regarding choosing your sunscreen, you know, how to treat and avoid sunburns. And if you look at me, you know I can get burned pretty easily. You know, the most common places that skin cancer pops up, you know, tips to identify possible problem areas, um, how to treat your sunburn, as well as tonight's topic, you know, how to practice safe sun. Oh, hello, Jessica. Thanks for popping in, lady. It's so good to see you. Hey, it's been a while. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm glad you could make it. But, um, and I'm sure you thought I would say something different than safe sun, but no, not tonight. Um, the reason that skin cancer awareness and prevention is important to me is because my dad, along with several close friends, have been diagnosed with basal cell carcinomas and they've had to have them removed several times. So um, along with my own scare with using some expired sunscreen that caused a lot of dark patches to appear on my skin. So I wanted to share some tips with you um, that I've found that were pretty helpful from a few dermatologists as well as um, a few dermatological based articles. Hello, Dan, nice to see you. Hey, I'm even waving at you, there's this new feature. Hey, hello, Judy. Oh my gosh, it's been a while. Nice to see you, lady. I can't even wave at you. Ha, huh, I didn't know how I could do that. Hey, Michelle, my friend. Hey, lady, so good to see you. Awesome. You finally caught me live. You know, it seems like we're always missing each other, and I, I, there's a way to wave at you. Huh. Pretty cool. Didn't know I could do that, but thanks for popping in. But um, I wanted to share some tips that I found in Cosmo Magazine, as well as from tanning.com. <laughs> right back at you, lady. Thanks. Um, I'm getting distracted again. Oh my gosh, Nancy. Wow, oh, holy cow, I, I didn't know. Prayers for a swift recovery though. Thank you, lady, for reminding everyone how important it is. And it kind of meshes with tonight's topic. Thanks, Nancy. I'm glad you could join in. But I wanted to share some tips that I found through Cosmo Magazine as well as tanning.com. And I will be placing those links in the comment thread later so that you can check them out on your own. And you know, read the article as well as, you know, absorb some of the other tips that they talked about. So, um, obviously, the easiest way to minimize skin, your risk of skin cancer is to avoid the sun completely. Obviously. But, um, hey, we know that's not possible, right? You know, with work, whether you work outside, life, kids sports, you know, you're enjoying the time outside and the wet, the beautiful weather. If you live in the northern states, you kind of want to enjoy the weather while it lasts. So I wanted to um, pass along a few tips to practice some safe sun. Definitely. And um, number one, <laughs> you're right, Michelle, safe sun and skin checks. Perfect way to go. But um, first one is avoid tanning beds. And, you know, this is something I wasn't aware of uh, when I was a lot younger. And I would frequent them occasionally to work on a tan. I mean, saying, look at me. I'm kind of fair <laughs> and get burned easily. And what I didn't know is that tanning beds pump out huge amounts of UVA radiation. And there's no minimum or maximum radiation level standards in the industry. So you never know how much you're being radiated with. And one thing that a dermatologist pointed out to me is that it increases the risk of skin cancer by 
<laughs> yes, Judy, you are absolutely right. Sunscreen, sunscreen, we all scream for sunscreen. <laughs> Especially me. And I think you scream for it as well. You're just as fair as I am. Thanks, lady. And um, it also causes premature aging and wrinkling at a faster rate. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to look my age any more than I have to. <laughs> I don't know anyone that does. Yeah, I, I'm kind of regretting that, Michelle, exactly. Absolutely. I'm wishing I hadn't, but I haven't seen one in a long time, so I think I'll be all right. But thanks, lady. But um, next, and if you want to reverse, as I was saying, it does cause premature aging and wrinkling at a much faster rate, and I did notice that um, on myself as well years ago. And if you want to reverse the premature aging or you know your sun damage like I did, um, if you PM me, I'll make some recommendations that might help you out. Oh, hello, a few more are joining in. Hey, Jean. Hey, lady, so good to see you. We're always playing, you know, tag because we miss each other live. <laughs> awesome. Thanks for popping in. Well, no, you're. I got you now. You're not on the replay. <laughs> but I'll catch you on the replay. Okay, no, sorry, I had to move my notes. Um, the computer was acting up, so I had to, you know, be creative and find another solution. But second tip, apply and reapply, and this is my secret to not getting burned as much, keep reapplying your sunscreen. Now, you do want, you, you absolutely want to use sunscreen. It's been proven to greatly minimize your risk of skin cancer. And there's a few things you need to know when it comes to your sunscreen. Um, one, UVA, UVB, broad spectrum. So if you look on your sunscreen, I don't know how well you can see that there, but it says broad spectrum, I apologize, it's backwards, um, SPF 30, and even water resistant. So these are the things that you wanna look for when it comes to your sunscreen to give yourself maximum protection. Um, this SPF 30 is recommended by most dermatologists and some of the ones that I happen to work with. And you also want to check the um, expiration date. Now, I don't know if you can see it real well on here, probably not because of the light, but on the top there, there's an expiration date. And you wanna make certain that your sunscreen is not expired. Because once your sunscreen has expired, you get zero sun protection whatsoever. And I found that out in, by getting burned and a few other little things that popped up. So just wanted to pass that along with you. Oh, hello, Jen. How awesome to see you, lady. It's been a really long time. I'm glad you could pop in. Hello, Brady. Oh my gosh, it's been forever. Hey, Matt Brady says hi. So Matt says, hey, Brady. There we go. So I even wave back at you. Thanks for popping in. But uh, third thing, safe sun tips. Know your tan time. You know, basically when your skin reaches that cutoff point where it can't produce any more melanin, which is your skin tan tanning pigments. And some people, you know, have a longer skin sun tolerance than others. And if you look at me, my tolerance, for example, is kind of low. You know, without sunscreen, maybe 15, 20 minutes. With sunscreen, you know, maybe an hour and a half, two hours. You know, and for those with darker skin tones, you know, you can tolerate a little bit more. But you wanna remember, also that you don't want to stay in direct sunlight all the time because you can burn if you're past your saturation point. So tip four, seek some shade at that point. Um, you reduce your UV intensity and your sunburn risk with gear, you know, like hat, shades. I don't have any of those with me right now. Protective clothing, even an umbrella. Just get out of the shade for a bit. Get out of the sun for a bit, I should say. And what that will do is it will give you the shorter intensity will give you a healthier, more long-lasting tan. So it will pop up for you. Hello, Janet. Nice to see you, lady. I haven't caught you in a while. I'm glad you could pop in. So next tip, supplements. You could actually take supplements. And this is something I have no idea, that you could take supplements like beta carotene. I think it was around 25 milligrams. Uh, one of the articles suggested that you could take as a supplement daily to help boost your skin's natural defense and improve your ability to tan. Now, I've never tried that. <laughs> I don't know how much it would make a difference for somebody like me with as fair skin as I am. Um, you know, and I eat a lot, a lot of vitamin A anyway, so I don't know, maybe it'll work. I've never tried it myself, so it's a possibility. Um, next tip, eat sun-friendly foods. Hmm, I think I might have talked about this and mentioned this in one of my previous videos, um, if you happen to be in my group, about vitamin A and um, nutrients and foods that would help clear out your skin and make it look more healthy and glowing. 
Uh, for example, foods that are high in lycopene, um, tomatoes, red or orange fruits and veggies, green tea, and someone even mentioned dark chocolate, but I don't think they meant that you could eat like 5,000 tons of it per day because I think that might impact your um, weight and fitness goals. Just a thought. <laughs> But um, what the article, uh, one of the articles I read suggested that it boosts your sun protection by up to 33%. So I, I'm not sure how that works, but maybe it would be a fun experiment to try if you're eating a lot of vitamin A and lycopene rich foods. Something to think about. Last tip for safe sun, a healthy faux glow, you know, the, the healthy tan look. And I know you can try excuse me, bleh, I can almost talk. But when it comes to the tan glow that we all like to have, there's a couple ways that you can get it without spending a lot of time in the sun. For example, um, spray tans or self tanners. Oh, there we go. Had to reach something I, I needed. And as you know, though, when you apply either a spray tan or a self tanner, they don't um, offer any sun protection. It's just color only. So you have to make certain that if you're using one of those two, you need to keep from overexposing yourself to the sun. Always a good idea. Um, now for options for spraying tan, they, I found out that they usually last about four to seven days and they usually take, you know, just a few minutes to apply. You know, just stand and spin and seems like it's, it would be a worthwhile thing to try. Now self tanners, um, I. I've never tried one before. Um, self tanners, usually they're foaming and, you know, easily applied. And I had never tried tanners before. You know, I, I always wasn't too keen on the smell that went along with it, you know, the streaks and that it looked fake because I didn't want to look like an Oompa Loompa any more than the next person. I mean, orange is definitely not my color. But I happened to try one on my legs just to see if it would take care of my Wisconsin whiteness because those seem to take forever for me to tan. Oh, hey, Karen, thanks for popping in, lady. Hey. And um, and I tried it because a friend recommended it to me because she was just as pale as I was and wanted to try out a little tan without spending hours in the sun. And it, I tried it within two applications, and I noticed on my legs that they were very tan looking. I didn't see any streaks. The color looked completely natural, and it was really, really easy to apply. I mean, within you know two minutes. It was, it was that easy. I was surprised. And if you decide that you want to try, if you would like to try the same self tanner that I did, um, you're more than welcome to PM me, and I'll make some recommendations. And I also place the pic in the comment thread for you to take a look at. Who knows? Might be an easier way to tan instead of sitting out and baking yourself in the sun. Because I don't want to look like a lobster. So if you heard something that you found helpful, you know, please leave a reaction. Uh, comment your thoughts or ask questions anytime in the thread. Share the video with anyone you think it might help and PM me if you have questions or happen to need recommendations or if you want some more sun awareness tips. Nancy, hey lady, so good to see you my friend. I'm so glad you were able to pop in. Hopefully we can catch up again soon. But um, like I was saying, if you PM me if you have questions